Welcome to Jairus of All, Iron Man Forum Rocket Launcher Build, Part 3. Today I spent the majority of the day running around trying to find the fasteners that I need to build the movement mechanism for the rocket launcher, and I haven't been able to find them. I did find some, but they didn't have enough for me to be able to do it. So I decided that for this video to get it done so that you can see what's going on with the build, I'm going to mock it up and show you how it's gonna work, and I'll show you how to do it to turn something that you just have an idea about into the real thing by making a fake version first. Here's a very rough idea of what I think I'm going to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the stuff that I have that I believe I'm going to use and get dimensions from it and cut this foam out to shape. That way I have mock-up pieces on a two-dimensional plane that I can pin together to see how it moves to make sure that everything works out the way I want it to. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to get those dimensions and put it all together and we'll see how it actuates. The difficult part besides the rocket moving up, um, this is more difficult, is the side planes that open, they have to curl around the armor that doesn't move on the sides and there's no paths for uh, you know, the movement arms to travel through the armor in the movie. So they'll have to curl around, like, you know, as they open, it'll have to curl around thing, the armor on the sides. It's difficult. Let's do the rocket launcher first. Launcher tube. Movement arms. This is that top panel. I need needles. All right, let's get this first part put together. So that will move to there. Am I doing this backwards? All right, I was confusing myself. I think I might have it figured out now though. I need my lifter arm for the lid so that it pops up a little bit too. I could just attach it to the top, but since it extends beyond the end of the launcher, the fins could run into it when it pops out of the tube and the fins expand. So it has to get out of the way and move back, right? So that's why I'm gonna put this extra little piece on right here as soon as I make it. Almost there. There we go. Mocked up. Pretty cool. Foam board mock-up helps you figure stuff out. This took a long time, and like I said, I spent the vast majority of the day looking for fasteners, which I still haven't been able to find, but at least I have this design nailed down now. So I hope you enjoyed watching this, even though I didn't actually make anything for it yet today. <laughs> now that I've got this mechanism figured out and mostly complete, I have to work on the other one that opens the side panels, and I'll do that and start making stuff as soon as I can find fasteners, because that's another piece of the equation. And you know how I said I thought I might have bitten off more than I could chew when I started this project? Well, if you break a project down into like different manageable pieces and then try to integrate them, you can problem solve for each little piece of the project as you go along. Makes it a lot easier to do instead of just trying to eat a whole apple in one bite. You know, I mean, that's ridiculous. But if you slice it up, it makes it a whole lot easier. I need to figure out fasteners, and I seriously spent hours today looking for fasteners, so hopefully I can find those, that way I can start putting this thing together, and actually making real pieces for it that are going to be used on it. Also, I'd appreciate it if you would share this video with anybody you might know that would be interested in how to build Iron Man. For real. I mean, kind of, for real. Alright, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Back from the dead.